Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to create your own amazing images for tumblers using the software called Canva. It is so user friendly, so easy, so I hope you enjoy. When you navigate to Canva, it gives you tons of templates that you can use and on the home screen you can see all of the various templates that are sized to the template itself so for example a facebook post it is already sized to 940 by 788 pixels a logo a youtube thumbnail i use canva for all of my marketing material as well as creating any designs that I need. So we are going to create a 20 ounce sublimation picture or image for our tumbler. For this, I am going to create a custom size template. And if you go to the top of your Canva screen, you will see create a design. Click this, you can choose a template but we're going to do a custom size. Once you create this size, it automatically saves it for you and you can duplicate this and use it over and over again. For the width, I am going to do 9.4 inches. Oh, first I need to change this to inches. We're going to do 9.4 you may need to adjust the size based off of your tumbler even though these are 20 ounce tumblers depending on the vendor you use your tumblers could vary in size um, so just adjust to what you need and then I'm going to do my height at 8.18 and I'm going to create my design now this is going to give me a blank screen with the adjusted size that I want. If I want to name this, you can come up here and name this 20 ounce tumbler template. And then over here to the left, it gives you all of the various icons and elements that you need to create your design. So at the top is templates, and this is just various different templates to get you started that you can use and adjust your design. So let's just select this one for example. And then you can click each component in there and change those out based off of your preference. So I'm going to go back and just look at all the various different templates that you have. So this is great if you are not a very creative person and you really need help thinking outside of the box to really create the image that you're looking for. Um, the next icon is elements. So this is great if you are searching for a particular uh, item, image, uh, things like that. So if we were looking for something like a flower, it's going to give you a ton of ideas. Another thing that Canva has is animation. So on top of just still images, you can also create videos with Canva. But we're not going to get into that with this video today. But it is something that is available to you with Canva. The Canva comes free of charge, but you can upgrade for additional images and access to you as well. So if you'll notice when you hover over an item it will have this little icon at the bottom and this is available with the Pro Upgrade. I do have the Pro Upgrade just because I use Canva for literally everything that I do. So you'll notice under Elements you have all of these different um, components to you as well that you can kind of filter your search by. So if you go to photos, this is going to give you basically photos of what you're searching on. You can go to graphics, videos, and it also has audio. So there, this is such a great tool, you guys. Um, the next button is uploads. So if you have an image that you want to use, 
from your client or for yourself, you can upload the image into Canva yourself and use that. It also has a paste and copy. So if you copied an image from somewhere, you can paste that in here just by using Control V. But I'm going to upload some media. And if you just click the upload media, you can go and download anything that you need. I already have some images in here that uh, my client wants me to use. I just have to locate those. This is a couple that I found. I'm going to paste them in here or upload them in here. And I will be right back because I have to go and pull the other images that I want to use for this tutorial. Okay, I have uploaded the images for my client. And now we are going to create our Tumblr. So I want to have a background and that's where these two images came from. I don't know if I want to use this one or this one. So I actually pulled two of them. So this is going to be a baseball um, Tumblr and there's going to be many different pictures and images on here. So I really liked this image. Um, so if you just click on the image it pops it into your template here and I'm going to make my template just a little bit bigger so you can see. And then you're going to get these little arrows where you can move this image however you want. Also, at the top, you have the ability to crop your image and you can flip your image horizontally or vertically. You can change the transparency as well. So for this one, I am going to resize it. Bring this back down. And the background, I want it to be black. So if I go to the top, let me click on the background here. You get this box background color here. Click that and it's going to give you the ability to change your background color. But if you notice, it takes my photo and it pulls the colors from my photo. So this is a great way to match your background with your photo. Do you see how that just worked there? Because your black, if you if I did just a basic black, it could be a different color than the rest of my image. So I am going to bring I did I'm gonna bring this down because you can see that line there. So I'm just gonna bring this down. Or we can also go to elements and do a search on blue smoke. So let's try blue smoke and we get some blue smoke here. So I'm going to pop that in there. And another great thing about Canva is you can remove the background. So I want to remove the background of this. So I'm going to attempt to. If you go to edit image and background remover. So it's going to attempt to remove the background. I'm not sure if this is going to work because this is the black background, but we're going to try. And it didn't work too awfully well. So it doesn't really give me what I'm looking for. So I'm going to continue looking. Let's go to graphics. Graphics Graphics usually gives you something without a background. So I get some blue smoke here. Because I do like this ball kind of at the top. I do like this background a little bit. It's a little too much. Um, what about this one? I 
think that's kind of nice. So we'll add that one. And I'm also going to add a little bit of that. And I'm going to click position and throw this a little, oh, bring that forward to the back. I'm going to bring this. Okay, so I like that blue. So now that we have our background, let's, oh, I do like this one too. Let's throw this one in here just to hide a little bit of, okay. Now that we have that, I'm going to select everything and group it so that now it's all become a single image. And if anything moves and shifts, it moves together. I'm going to go back to my uploads and looking at these pictures, this is, um, looks like um, one of their icons so or logos. So I'm going to remove the background from this. So I'm going to select the image, go to edit image and remove background and apply. So I want this, oh, I actually, let's go back because the white really made that stand out. So let's go back, edit image, remove background, and I'm going to click restore and I'll change my brush size and I'm going to restore the white in the back of this. So I want the white to show up, but I want the rest of the image to be translucent. All right. That looks great. Done. There we go. Perfect. And click apply. Okay, so now we have the logo. And I'm going to just kind of plop this. Do we plop it on the baseball? Maybe we will kind of sit it right there. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. For now. We'll leave it there for now. And he's got a lot of great images in here. So we're going to take this one. And let's try to remove the background from this one. Look at that beautiful you can crop this just by moving the sides and we're gonna plop this right there we have this is a great one remove the background from that one perfect and pop it right there we have this one, edit image, remove the background. Make it bigger. Okay. And we need one more. Should we do this one? Have this one where he is batting. And let's move this one here. All right. So out of the images that they sent, these are the ones that we're going to use. And we do have room where we could put his name on here. But I don't know if it's really necessary. And I'm going to play with this logo just a little bit. And there we go. Look at that. I love this. We could add smoke in front, but I think I like it just as it is. Other things that you guys can do, you can add text. So if we wanted to add a name, you could come in here and it gives you different types of 
text that you could use as examples. If you want to add audio and make this a video, if you want video samples, here are some video samples. And then you also have the ability to create your own folders to store things that you want to get quick access to. So to save this, um, there's really nothing that you need to do because the system will automatically save it for you. And now it is time to download. So I like to download mine as an SVG. You can download an image with a transparent background. For the sake of this being a Tumblr, I don't need a transparent background. But I am going to uh, download this as an SVG, which gives it the sharpest graphics possible. So I'm going to click SVG. To use SVG, you do need the Pro upgrade. If you don't have the pro upgrade, then you could just use the PNG, which is a great high quality. But I am just going to download this. I actually open a Word document and I have the layout in um, landscape. And then I am going to insert a picture from file. Now we'll go to my download. <clears throat> I will right click on this size and position and the height 8.18 which should adjust this to my 9.4 and OK. I will click position to where I can move this wherever I need it and then I will print to my sublimation printer which uses sublimation ink and prints it on sublimation paper. This is the end result after printing the image on sublimation paper using sublimation ink. This is the 20 ounce tumbler. I think the colors and image came out absolutely amazing. I always use Canva for all of my image making. You can use whatever you choose, but this is just how I do it. I hope you enjoyed this video and tutorial, and if you did, just comment below and let me know what you enjoyed most. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.